Okay, I'm going to share with you a very, very powerful technique of how I can use math inside of InDesign to solve typical, typical problems. So here's my objective. I'm going to make a photo gallery layout inside of InDesign. I'm going to make a new file file new. Now, in this particular case, I'm not going to make facing pages, and I'm going to simply do landscape as opposed to portrait. I'm going to hit OK. Okay, let's save the file. File save. Let's call it pic gallery. Okay, so here's my objective. I want, per client's request here, I want to put five pictures across and seven pictures down inside of this area right here. So one of the things we can do here is we can go to our frame tool, F for frame, and basically create a frame that encompasses the border of the entire page. So here's my box. Okay, now very, very important step. I want to have, again, let's say clients, says, I want to have six across, five down, six across, five down. So how do we do this? Well, short of getting out your NASA space trajectory decoder ring, <laughs> here's a simple, simple way. We can take the width. Now, in order to make this work here, I have to position my measurements in the top left-hand corner, top left-hand corner. So we simply take the width, which is here, and we divide forward slash six. We take the height, forward slash divide by five. So that's our final box. This is going to fit six across, five down. Now, how do we solve this next step? We're going to take the width of this. We're going to copy the width, Command C, Control C, Windows. We're going to go to step and repeat, step and repeat. We're going to repeat this across. We're going to repeat this five times. Tab. So let's start here. So we're going to repeat this vertically, paste, horizontally, zero, repeat value five times. We want six total. We have one, repeat five times. That does this. I'm sorry. My mistake. I screwed up on that. I meant to go horizontally. We're going to go horizontally, paste, five times. That gives us this. Then I take the height of this, which is right here, the height inside my property palette. I copy that, step and repeat, command option U or control option, control alt U, Windows, step and repeat, and I repeat this. In this particular case, we're going to go vertically and not horizontally. We're going to repeat this four times because again, we want six by five repeating four times and problem solved. So it's a very cool technique because no matter what your size is, I can just divide it, then step and repeat it. Divide it with, divide height, and then step and repeat. Now, let's take this one step further. Let's say the client wants to have six across, five down, but they want to have a quarter inch in between. How do we solve this? Well, very simply, if you have six boxes, you have five spaces. If you have 97 boxes, you have 96 spaces. If you have 420,000 boxes, you have 419,000, or actually one less than that, one less space. So in this particular case, we have to get rid of our space first. So we have to get rid of the negative space. So a quarter inch across, quarter inch times five, is a quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, that's one and a quarter inches. So now keep in mind, this defaults to picas and pixel, picas and points. So we need to minus 1.25 inches for the width. And for the height, the height is going to be five spaces, I'm so, sorry, five boxes, four spaces. So that's simple. It's minus, minus one inch. Okay, so again, I have to get rid of the negative space first. That's how math works. I can't divide minus. I have to basically minus negative space first before I divide. Now I can take this number and I can divide by six. And I can take the height and I can divide by five, which gives me this. Now again, step and repeat. So I can go to the width copy that, go to the edit menu, step and repeat. So we're going to repeat this. Let's repeat the, the width first. We're going to basically go zero, tab, 
paste plus plus a quarter inch plus 0.25 and you have to put the inch mark we're going to repeat this five times so just like that i have perfectly a quarter inch across the top how cool is that very very important step there's people that will spend hours doing this technique it's very flexible very simple now i take the the height of this copy this select all in order to affect the boxes i need to select the boxes go up to edit step repeat and we're going to repeat this four times vertically paste plus plus 0.25 again make sure you put in the inch marks because this defaults to points in pike is n zero problem solved instant instant setup now i can go get some photos and put the photos right here speaking of which if i go to place photos here i'm going to show you a very powerful technique here if i go to file place i'm going to place some files here so i'm going to just go to websites go to this site here i'm going to pick some files here i'm going to pick this and i'm just going to pick a series of photos now here's the cool part if you pick more than one photo when you place file file place you get a photo queue this is my photo queue you know i can toggle through my photo queue by hitting the right arrow left arrow right arrow left arrow so i'm going to drop this photo here and here and here and here so if you want to skip a photo you just go to the next photo by hitting the right arrow left arrow if you want to delete a photo from the queue you hit the escape key the escape key is going to delete the photo in the queue. So I basically put photos wherever I click. Wherever I click is going to put the photo. So I just select, select, select. Now, if you want to delete more than one photo, you can just hit another tool, like the move tool. That's going to clear the cache. Okay. So now these photos are not the size I want them to be. So a very simple technique here. Select what you're going to affect. Anything about the object is under the object menu object menu object fitting fitting proportionately command shift option c for macintosh control shift option c for windows so command shift, option c fit command shift, option c fit command shift, option c fit etc 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 simple technique simple to do if you understand how the program thinks anything about the object is under the object menu. What we did here is we divided the width, divided the height, and then step and repeat.